I was thinking all along, how am I going to do this? And is this the way it's, is this all, all that I have tried to stand for, is this the way it's going to end up? I'm going to be playing the very thing I don't want to play. I never got in the business to play. Indeed, the very thing that I got in the business to eradicate if I could. But of course, there was the offer of some money that I badly needed. So I began to try to find things within the script that would allow me to uh, do this character. I must say there was nothing in the script that revolted me. There was nothing in the script that made me think he's second class or anything. And moreover, I found that I could, I had a way of saying and doing things with what I saw that took the onus off the, off the character, the man himself. And uh, I began to be more comfortable with the whole idea. And I had found a way to make people laugh without being a buffoon and without being stupid or servile or uh, seeming, seemingly idiotic. And that, to me, was a great, that was, that was cool, because I could earn the money then. <laughs> well, one of the things I was trying to avoid was dignity. That terrible term that you're either a buffoon if you're black, or you play it with dignity. I hated that idea altogether because I knew that dignity did not make people laugh. And I wanted desperately to make people laugh. And so I found a way to say what I was going to say in the script without demeaning black people or myself. Uh, and also at the same time, I found a way to do comedy that I don't think many blacks had found before that. And that was that you could be yourself and make people laugh. I'm not sure that my thoughts, other than my style, entered the script at all. But I had, I, I knew this man and I knew that he did not, under any circumstances, want to work for white people. But I didn't have to say any of that. I didn't have to make it a racial thing. I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to go there. But what I think I struck was a chord in a lot of people who feel that the boss can go to hell on the weekend. You know, and I don't care what happens. He, for, forget him. So I found a way to say what I was going to say, and you could hear the curse words ringing <laughs> in the character so that everything I said had this ring of, I can't say it on television. I can't say it on this, but it had that ring in it. Well, what do you, if, if I, like the very first script, she, uh, my good friend Catherine Hellman, playing Jessica, the woman of the Tate household for whom I worked. And she came down the stairs, and she was she's all flighty and whatnot. And she said, oh, the birds are singing, and it's such a lovely day, and so forth and so on. And I'm breaking, two, I'm breaking eggs over a tureen. And prior to mixing them up and fixing breakfast for the household. So she says, in the midst of all this, she sees me breaking the eggs, and she said, oh, what are you doing, Benson? And I said, what is <laughs> Without cracking a smile or, or anything, I said, what does it look like I'm doing? She said, well, 
damn, it looks like eggs. I said, good, then it's eggs. Totally without any preamble. And there was something funny about the attitude. What are you doing, Benson? What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> but from that point on, I was sailing. And uh, that's the way I played it. And I think, I think that inherent in the character was this irreverence. It was written against type by Susan. And I was able to embody that. When, when a lot of other people auditioned for the part, but they were either too militant or they were too submissive. I fell somewhere right in the middle with uh, what does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> it tickles me to say. <laughs> what does it look like I'm doing? Well, good. Then it's eggs. Well, you know, eggs could kill Mr. Tate. And I said, hmm, because I didn't like him of the way he treated Mrs. Tate. She said, well, uh, we would like this evening, we would like this evening, uh, what was it, uh, some, <laughs> some, some English dinner. We would like something I can't think of. And I said, forget about it. I said, I'm making fish. I'm making fish this evening. You want fish? So it was it's just irreverent. And I really did like playing it. And I, I was very successful at it. 